Hi, I'm Hassan, the lecturer here at the Institute of Medical Education. Today, we're going to take a look at solutions to Section 3 of ACES GAMSAT PIG booklet, Practice Test 3, specifically Unit 13, Questions 37 to 39. And in this unit, we're going to take a look at the thin lens formula. Now, lucky you, um, all you need to know is how to manipulate this formula. And just a couple of points about um, the sign convention for the radio of curvature for convex and for convex, uh, convex and concave surfaces. Now, um, ACE has been nice here. I know I think in practice test two, in the test before this, they do ask a question about refraction of light in um, convex, concave lenses. Um, so just note that although we're not dealing with that here, you could in the future games that get questions about um, trying to figure out where the focal point is going to be. What's an imaginary image? What's a real image? What's the size of the image going to be? How to draw the lines coming out of the lens? So just keep that in mind when you're practicing your refraction of light. Nonetheless, for this unit, um, we just have to worry about manipulating this equation. So um, it's also important to note some key points here that we're told in the stimulus. So the focal length has to be positive for a converging lens, and the focal length has to be negative for a diverging lens. And lucky us, we're not going to be working with concave surfaces, so we're going to be focusing on convex for um, the next three uh, questions, which means it's going to be a positive focal point. And that means we have to keep in mind as well that we're going to have R1 is going to be positive and R2 is going to be negative. So um, let's begin with 37. So 37 says the focal length of a biconvex lens has curvature radio of 60 centimeters on both sides and is made of a material with a refractive index of 1.75. So what you do in, this exam, in the exam is let's just write down our knowns and unknowns. So obviously the unknown is the focal point, but we know that our n is going to be 1.75. Our r1 is going to be plus, because remember it says r1 is a positive, so r1 is going to be 60. And because it says it's both sides 60 centimeters, so it's going to be r2 is going to be negative 60. So keep that in mind because it's a convex surface. So now let's just plug and chug, put it into the equation. So 1 over the uh, focal length is going to equal, so 1.75 minus 1 times 1 over, remember it's plus 60, minus minus 1 on 60. So that's going to equal... So 0 0.75, let's keep it as a fraction. 0 0.75 is 3 quarters. Um, so 1 over 60 plus 1 over 60 is 2 over 60. And so 2 over 60, which equals 1 over 30. So what we can do then is, so 4 times 30 is 120. 3 by 1 is, so 3 over 120, which equals, so you'd know it's going to equal 1 over 40. So therefore, 1 on, so our focal length, 1 on f is equal to 1 on 40. We don't have to play around with it. We know the answer has to be 40 centimeters. And don't worry about converting to meters or to any other unit because all the answers are in centimeters. We can leave it as centimeters. Now, I also um, omitted the units from here, um, but you should, for practice, please, I'm very pedantic here, keep the units for practice so that you can. Uh, not make a mistake in the future if units are important. But I omitted them here for brevity. So that's the answer for 37. It's going to be B, 40 centimeters. So now if we can move to question 38, similar deal here, it says, consider a biconvex lens for which the radius of curvature of one side is different to the other. So in the previous question, they were both 60 centimeters. But in this instance, one is going to be different to the other. So how about we just play around with um, the numbers? So what would be the effect of reversing this lens? So let's just do it. So if we're going to say R1, so let's just say R1 is 1 and R2 is 2. But remember, because it's a biconvex lens, R1 is positive, R2 is negative. So let's just plug and chug and see what happens. So 1 over F equals n minus 1, so 1 over 1, minus minus 1 over 2. So that's the same as saying 
1 minus, or so 1 plus a half. So that's going to be the same as, so 1 plus a half, which equals 1 and a half. So this is going to equal 1 and a half. So let's just reverse it then. How about we make it R1 is equal to 2, and R2 is equal to, because it has to be negative, minus 1. Let's do that. So it's going to be the same thing. So 1 over F equals N minus 1. So it's going to be 1 over 2 minus minus 1 on 1. So we know, therefore, 1 half plus 1. So 1 half plus 1 is equal to 1 and a half. So we see there that there's not going to be a change. The lens would refract, refract light in the same way. So that's why the answer for 38 has to be C. So again, just take note of the different um, sign convention for the radii. So if it's R1, it's going to be positive. R2 is going to be negative. If you're going to swap the um, sides around, again, R1 is going to be positive and R2 is going to be negative. So the numbers don't, uh, the, for a convex, for a, guy, for a biconvex lens, it doesn't matter on which side the radius or which side the, um, or if it's a different radii, sorry. As long as you keep the signs together, uh, the signs, you're consistent with the signage, one's plus, one's negative, it's going to be the same answer if you flip them around. So now, last question 39, it requires some arithmetic, but it's, again, um, just have to use uh, some brain power here. It says consider a symmetrical, so a symmetrical biconvex lens that has a focal length as long as its radius of curvature. So if it's symmetrical, R1, R2 is going to be equal. So the lengths are going to be equal. But it's also telling us that the focal length is um, the same as the radius of curvature. So this is the same as this. So we can rewrite that as we just say x, 1 over x equals n minus 1. 1 over x, so remember r1 is going to equal x, r2 is going to equal our negative x, plus x, negative x, because it's a biconvex lens. So it's going to be 1 over x minus minus 1 over x. So we can simplify that, so 1 over x is going to equal n minus 1, so that's going to be 1 over x plus 1 over x is going to be 2 over x. So now we just have to do simple arithmetic. So how about we times this side by x and divide it by 2. So we're going to do the same thing here. Times by x, so that's going to come off. Divide by 2, so that's going to be a half. So we're left with 1 half equals n minus 1. So we just bring it across. So 1 plus a half equals n. So n is going to equal one and a half or as they're showing it in the answer keys or the question options 1.5 so our answer therefore for 39 has to be b now i'm as i said in the beginning ace is being nice here because i know in practice test two they ask some questions about refraction of light from um convex or concave uh material and that opens up a whole can of worms with um uh with imaginary images, real images, the size of the image, where's the focal length, where are the rays of light going to go. But in this instance, we just had to use a thin lens formula. But um, if you're still having trouble uh, trying to figure out how we answer these questions, you can post your queries in the comment section below, or you can contact us directly. We'd love to help. Thanks for your time. Bye now.